Welcome back to Stickman Trench Wars. Name is uh, subject to change. We've had an update to the demo, so that when you guys get it in your hands finally, because it's going to be free, well, you've got difficulty levels. This was something that was requested in the first video, and at the time we were still finalizing it, well, <laughs> refining really, the AI. Today we're going to be doing all three difficulties. So this is the, uh, the noob, the easy difficulty. So right now I'm like, <laughs> these guys suck, right? I'm just going to rush that final trench and like get there before they do. I'm going to buy the machine gunner. I think I'm going to have like four or five riflemen. No, I'm really bad at math. Three riflemen and one machine gunner. The enemy is bringing up two riflemen and one shotgunner. The variety of units in Stickman Trench Wars, name subject to change, is part of the fun of it. But I'm kind of aiming for like a sub three minute victory. And my thinking is, we's well, better than them. So I'm just going to rush him. Now I can summon an officer, which would be kind of cool, but I'm just going to take the money. Oh, well, what happens if I charge them? Uh-oh, uh-oh, we might have problems. There's two machine gunners in the back. Oh, okay. All right, well, we're back to the drawing board. So they're not a complete rollover show. I don't know what a rollover show is, but I would imagine it's pretty easy. Here, let's let's hold this trench, because they just rushed it. Oh my God, please don't, please don't keep running. I got a shotgun or a machine gunner. Ooh, this is tough. <laughs> Guys, you're supposed to be bad. Wait, wait, wait. I have one trench left. Who is responsible for this sham of a performance? Whoever's in charge needs to be fired. Oh, wait. I'm in charge. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting is uh, your home base trench is already upgraded by one. So instead of just upgrading by spending 150 resources, we have to spend 200, which is kind of fun. Now, this is interesting. The enemy trench is too far away for me to be able to use a sniper on this map. If you look real quick at the beginning, you can see that there's two different layouts currently. We're working on more map types. All right, the enemy's attacking, but I should have defender's advantage. And I am going to, I already have five uh, medals. I think we might need to tweak the economy here. But, gosh dang, I'm gonna get an officer. Most definitely so. Hey, get out of the trench. They were shelling us. The AI, I think like, Pulled the wrong, uh, <laughs> the wrong lever there. Okay, I said I was aiming for a sub three minute victory. I guess I couldn't just cheese my way to victory. I haven't figured out the way to do that yet, but if there's a way, even though I'm one of the devs, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Breaking games is fun. I mean, isn't it? You know what, we, get, we, we got more men than them. They got two officers. I could go medals. I'm gonna just summon another officer. Ooh, that was tough. They bombed me when I was charging like over this no man's land area. I actually want to save up for this artillery barrage here and like hit the enemy trenches, but my compulsion to just buy more and more units is, uh, well, it's it's a powerful thing. Oh, I can bomb no man's land too. Oh, they got a sniper out there. We're gonna have to rush him, but, oh, it's 307. Biscuits and gravy, guys. We didn't get a sub three minute victory, but easy victory is, well, wouldn't you believe it, easier. So now we go from the noob to the pro and we hit moderate difficulty. I actually want to get snipers out, but we're going to need some experience. So we're going to have to rely on riflemen. I'm going to want the enemy to charge at me first. That's going to kind of be the crux of our strategy here. Notice how the enemy has more men, significantly more men than they had the last time. Maybe trying to bank on a sniper isn't the best strategy this early in the game. Maybe I know exactly what I'm doing. Maybe I'm winging it. Okay, that's two officers and four riflemen. Okay, good. We should get user's advantage. I wanted this. Do I want to summon a sniper for free? I think yes. Look at that. Okay, we actually shut the enemy down. We've got a free sniper and we're gonna save up for a second one. Now, one possible counter to this is if the enemy goes and unlocks artillery brush. That's one of the only abilities available in the demo. If you saw my previous video, we covered a lot of the units that are going to be coming. And then I asked what ideas you guys had specifically for units. So we can unlock the machine gunner, but I actually want stars. I feel like currency is very important. So here we go. The sniper takes a shot, knocks out the rifleman. We've got two here. 
Now, I held this middle trench so that the snipers would still be effective at shooting here. If we take this trench, they don't have the range to get over there. There was a number of really interesting suggestions though. Notably, like that while, and I wanna hear your thoughts on this, while the riflemen are in these trenches, they'll take shots at the enemy, but maybe the percent chance of hitting is like 1% or something like that. Which I guess it would be sort of thematic in a way that they would be shooting at each other. All right. We could use an artillery barrage. Now this could just be a, a simple case of the right strategy. I've got four medals, I don't need that. I'd rather unlock the artillery barrage. I think that's what we wanna do. Hey look, they got a sniper, but I have, uh, I have uh, three of them. Let's try rushing them before they get a little bit situated. Look at that. Hmm, you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, rush it. We got a sub three minute victory. Same map, now difficult. So we go from noob to pro to hacker, AKA the highest difficulty. Now I think at this case, I'm gonna want a machine gunner. They're just so good at holding the dang line. Now the enemy is probably gonna get a lot more units than me. So I'm actually thinking of holding this trench because it's gonna be quicker for me to supply. And if I got 70 bucks, I think I'm gonna hold off for a second machine gunner instead of going rifleman spam, which is what I would normally probably go with. And they artillery barraged me. Okay. So what do I think I need in this moment? I can unlock officers. I need the money. Oh God. Uh, this is gonna be kind of rough. If they rush me here, I don't think that machine gunner. Ooh, do I want? Okay, this is a bit of a gamble. In my head, this is where my thought process is. Summoning a machine gunner is always good, but I don't know if I'll be able to get back and keep him in my home trench if I lose this battle. So if I lose this battle, what I really want is an artillery barrage. If I win it, I actually want either the machine gunner or the stars, but I don't know if I'm gonna win it. This is sort of the suspenseful part about when these options pop up. In my opinion, it makes the game very replayable. By the way, Steam is where you can find the demo and the game so you can wishlist it. So links in the video description. I think the safest bet is to go stars. Oh my gosh, we held the freaking line. Okay. Oh, they got a sniper. Oh my God, my artillery missed. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this. So we either kill them now. Oh, that worked out, that worked out. <laughs> or they just kept, they would just snipe us to death. It forces us to act. Oh, they got my machine gunner. All right, we need to get, I don't need medals. Look at this, we got a little standoff in no man's land. Do it, buddy. He didn't do it. He fought the good fight, but he eventually died. All right, so two officers, a shotgunner, and a machine gunner. That's dangerous. That's very dangerous. Come on, machine gunner. Dang it. Shotgunner, do it. Rifleman, no. Uh-oh. This is not easy. It's almost like it was intended to be <clears throat> difficult. I'm afraid to try to rush this trench because I feel like we would be pushed back. Screw it. And you know what? I'm going to unlock the shotgunner. Oh, gosh, they got there right before us. But... We got our shots off first, so that actually favored us. That's one of the, oh my God, they got a two snipers? Let's go, I mean, the best thing to do, the most bang for my buck, ahem. Uh-oh. Oh, nicely done. Here, I got an idea. Oh shoot, I'm dumb. I'm dumb, but also, we both did artillery barrage around the same time. They got the sniper. This is definitely more tense than the other ones. Okay, they're rushing us. We might be able to... All right, he's in no man's land, so you have to like go out and engage the sniper if you don't have one. This is tough. All right, um, right, I'm gonna take the stars. Dang it. And we'll stop here, I guess. We could make it. I was trying to save it for an artillery barrage. Oh God. Okay, we're back to square one. Max difficulty is difficult. One of the thoughts is maybe like converting metals into more money or maybe increasing like the rank of your units or unlocking like upgrades is part of like sort of the long-term idea. Oh, okay, they're rushing us. 
let's let's counter let's counter now they've got a sniper so once we take this we have to immediately run they called it an artillery brush so that actually worked out we overran that trench oh my gosh i bought a freaking rifleman when i should have bought this all right let's summon the most expensive one which is the officer that artillery did not do a very good job here we go we got an officer to buff our units oh they just got reinforcements that was gonna be the time i was going to make a move i'm gonna upgrade this trench we're gonna try to hold it use defender's advantage save it for artillery wait for them to rush us now the counter to that is well if they call in artillery and they got snipers this is gonna take oh my gosh sniper and artillery oh but the trench upgrade saved our lives go 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 all right now we just gotta defend this and hit this trench come on oh this is gonna be close this is gonna be close um summon a sniper oh my gosh it was it was really close oh god okay whoa that man just destroyed them i didn't believe he was gonna hold and he held all right oh my gosh I left that on attack. That's one thing. I want to make it a one. Oh, these two officers just murked everybody. Okay. All right, we have the artillery now. I want to wait for here. There we go. This one's ours. I'm going to get a sniper. Ooh. Okay, upgraded trench definitely helped us on that artillery barrage, but not enough. And they got a sniper. The back and forth on this one is obscene. It's living up to its name, though. Like, that, the max difficulty is going to be, well, <laughs> the most difficult. All right, where's their sniper? I think we actually may have killed him. You better win, because I've got my hands stuck in the artillery jar. Oh, my goodness. We actually got defeated. We're going to try map two on the highest difficulty. Now I'm gonna unlock snipers early and just go riflemen. And I'm thinking I'm gonna stay close. This second trench is where I wanna be. The idea is we wait for the enemy to hit us. We stay close. We gotta watch out for artillery though. All right, the enemy's here. We're gonna upgrade this trench. So it's a little bit better at defending us. And I can also use the number keys. <laughs> Simple control schemes, quality of life. My quality of life would be higher. If the enemy, oh, this time they went officers. Okay, that's good. They didn't go snipers, so we should expect a rush relatively soon. But hopefully after that, uh, this engagement, we'll go from level one to two. Oh, take the 250 stars every day. Now we can get a sniper. So the sniper should start firing. As long as he doesn't die in this first skirmish, I think we've got the enemy on a back foot. Now we've been a little unlucky with the first three shots being misses. There we go, we hit an officer. But I mean, this sort of like breaks the stalemate. There we go. A shotgunner down. Oh God. Ooh, that could have been bad. That could have been really, really bad. All right, we're gonna unlock the shotgunner. That artillery barrage killed our sniper on, it's believable. I'm just very distraught about it. Sniper's back up, taking his pot shots. I'm gonna try to save it for a second one, or maybe a trench upgrade. We went with the other sniper. We didn't go trench upgrade. We've got two of them now. Oh, they just brought a sniper and they just called artillery. I'm gonna summon an artillery barrage and counter them. All right, you know what, screw you. Huzzah! Now we don't need medals, we have so many. We're going to unlock the machine gunner. One of the things that we've thought about is like maybe actually being able to retreat. Yes, sniper takes out the machine gun first shot. They have snipers here. We need to save an artillery barrage. Oh, they just, oh, the timing of that. Who wins, sniper versus sniper? This is, this is kind of scary. They, he killed my sniper. Oh my God. Did we, did we win? Did you win, son? No, Dad, I got my butt kicked. The enemy's hacking, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, son, they're just on the highest difficulty. And you need to find the get good button. Don't make me tell your mother. Come on, sniper versus sniper. 
This is when I feel like we need the function to send in a small wave. Because if their sniper kills mine, <laughs> I ain't having a good time. Oh, two snipers. We're going. There's just nothing else we could do. No! <laughs> the travesty of it all. So, needless to say, the three different difficulties require different sort of strategies and like in some cases in the higher level difficulties, it might even require a little bit of luck. But remember that Stickman Trench Wars name is subject to change. There's a big asterisk about that, but don't worry, we're, we're talking about behind the scenes. Is available to wishlist on Steam right now, and the demo, which will be free to play, will come very soon. We're talking like October 3rd. So make sure to go wishlist it on Steam right now. You can use the link in the video description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to see you in the next video.